Hey everybody, do you know how a microwave works? Well, let's talk about it. So a microwave actually uses microwave light energy to heat up food. So first off, talking about microwave light energy, it's on the electromagnetic spectrum. Speaking of lights, my lights are flashing. Uh, anyways, moving on. So uh, the electromagnetic spectrum, the lowest form of energy, biggest wavelength, lowest frequency is radio wave, then microwave, then infrared, then you have visible light, um, and then after visible light, you have UV, then X-rays, and then gamma rays. Gamma rays are the most powerful form of radiation. Um, if you've ever, like an unstable nucleus of an atom might emit gamma rays. Anyways, um, so uh, going back to our microwave, you put food in the microwave and then close it, turn it on, and it blasts the food with microwave energy. Um, but what's actually happening is it's agitating the water molecules. So if you just put like a plate in the microwave without any food on it, it probably won't even get warm. But when you have water in the equation, it agitates the water and literally gets them moving like kinetically. It's actually like physically moving the water. So microwave energy, so light energy to moving the water so fast that that kinetic energy actually turns into thermal energy. So that's basically how it works. You're just basically, once again, you're kind of like boiling your food through light energy, making the water molecules move fast and then getting warm. That's why like if you microwave like fries, they get like soggy, they don't keep crisp. Um, on top of that, when you like microwave something, it will kind of like randomly like, like agitate the water molecules. A lot of times from the outside in it, I feel like sometimes, but like if you add, like if you heat up something, one part might still be kind of cold. One part might be like crazy hot. On top of that, if you put water in the microwave, you can actually superheat the water. You can make it boiling without even appearing boiling. And then if you put like a tea bag in or like you know hit it with like a like a spoon or something, it'll break the surface tension, and then it might like actually like you know almost boil, uh, so to speak. Um, so that's how microwaves work. So once again, they're just agitating water molecules and getting them kinetically moving very, very fast. So they heat up. That's how they work. I hope that makes sense. Stay curious.